So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ames's Corner. How you all doing out there? So it's uh, round two for the Acadia here. This is the Acadia that got uh, in the collision with the deer trying to cross the road. The deer didn't make it, and a lot of this Acadia didn't make it either. So yeah, last time you saw this, we had stripped it down so that the insurance adjuster could come back out, and then we saw him come back out and do his little dance and, and picture show he has to take. Well, today, we have a giant pile of parts, so why don't we get this thing inside and let's take a look at everything we have for this car. Well, we got this thing in here locked into the lift and it's right about where we left it last time you guys saw it. I haven't taken any more apart, but uh, yeah, you know, broken radiator and, and all that. We'll get all that out of the way today, but for now, why don't we take a quick look at everything we've got delivered for this thing. With the big old radiator support it's a big unit to change that whole front of the front of the truck there we got a we got our fender and our upper bumper cover those are the only two pieces that need to be painted we're going to get those to the body shop today hopefully we see those back about thursday you know thursday would be all right we got the lower bumper cover which is black plastic like it was before that's good we got uh the bumper the upper and lower bumper reinforcing mounting strip got the passenger side headlight this is the trim uh, stamp uh, chrome trim for the bumper that goes somewhere on somewhere on there I'm not sure at the moment and we got a, a brand new radiator to go into that we've yet to see the AC condenser I don't have the fan module which is both the damage in the car so I won't be able to put much together today but it's gonna be fun to take a little more apart we'll get a We'll get all this off of here today. All this bumper, the bumper itself. We'll get this condenser out of here. I'm curious to see if that thing held its refrigerant or not. So uh, yeah, why don't we set up the time lapse? Or we've got the time lapse set up and uh, get the AC machine. We'll suck this down. We'll drain the coolant and just start ripping all this apart. So yeah, enough talking. Time to get at it.
Well, all right, everyone. It's about as far as I can get on this today. Uh, we didn't have the radiator fan module, which is going to be a lot easier to put in without the radiator support bolted in. But uh, yeah, here, uh, here's how this thing looks without the radiator, the uh, whole front end on it. It's kind of far apart, huh? I wonder if you guys have ever had a car this far apart. I don't know. I don't know of very many service technicians that do the uh, the nut and bolts and builds and stuff I do that handle body work like this. So uh, it's kind of like having a, a an auto tech that does transmission rebuilds. But uh, I'm pretty good at knocking the metal around. I got some work done on this thing. I don't remember if I showed you how bad this was. This was all pushed in, same uh, same fate as that one with the deer, but. I actually hammered this thing around this morning. I got this thing all up into place. I actually used the engine lift to, to lift it back up in there. But uh, this one here isn't a, an insurance. This is a, a customer pay job to keep his insurance rates low. So uh, i trying to keep this one out of the cabbage on a budget for him. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job on it. But anyways, guys, uh, no, I haven't really mentioned it too much on here. But uh, why don't you guys join my Facebook group and uh, leave some comments for me there. A lot of you guys are asking me car questions in the comments of some videos or messaging me either with an email. Uh, a lot of guys call the shop here. It's just really hard for me to keep up with that kind of, uh, of, of giving you guys that kind of information. I get calls during the day while I'm in the middle of uh, you know fixing people's cars here. I gotta, I gotta jump out front to, to make a phone call. I just, I have too many people calling me for me to be able to answer all the car questions. So if you guys wanna go to the Facebook group, Either I can have a better chance of seeing them there or some other people. I have a lot of really knowledgeable fans on my Facebook group that might be able to answer questions I don't have the time to get to. So, yeah, why don't you guys check out Amesy's Automotive Corner Facebook group. Ask to join. I'll let everyone in. And uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to that group. And it uh, be nice to hear from you guys there. So, anyways, yeah, we got some more parts to order for that thing. And this one here, uh, I'm waiting for a hood. We still got to get a hood for it. But anyways, yeah, check out the Facebook group, and until next time, keep it out of the cabbage.